Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paul. Back in the 80s, before every business had a website, if you wanted to see what the department store had without leaving your home, you'd get out one of these big thick catalogs. David Weiss was a store that my family shopped at in Pennsylvania. I got Atari cartridges and Star Wars figures there. Let's take a look at their 1989 catalog. The first 100 pages of the catalog were always jewelry then a hundred pages of cookware, and about another hundred of furnishings. Then we'd start to get to the cool stuff. An Epson computer with 640K of RAM. State-of-the-art calculators from Casio and Texas Instruments. You could listen to music anywhere with these Walkmans. Or these cool boom boxes. You could call someone from any room in the house with these cordless telephones. Or impress your friends with a phone shaped like a car, shoe, or piano. The latest camcorders cost between nine and twelve hundred dollars. You'd need one to film a music video with the other cool kids. The best part of the catalog was always at the back, the toy section. Here's some of the classic Fisher Price toys and the latest electronic musical toys. The first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie was about to be released, and David Weiss had all of the new toys. Ghostbusters 2 had also just come out, and every kid wanted their own proton pack. Now, we're going to go back another 10 years and look through this 1979 Basco catalog. Digital watches. Star Wars and Battlestar Galactica. Holly Hobby and Mork from Ork. She's really enjoying her new curling wand from Gillette. Create your own disco at home with this $40 mirror ball. Better get a good vacuum cleaner to clean up afterwards. You could develop your photos instantly with a Polaroid camera. A VCR would set you back $1,000, and a blank videotape cost between $18 and $28. You could get a new stereo system complete with a place to store your 8-track tapes. And for your game room, a Magnavox Odyssey 2. The never-ending fun of computer chess. All the latest handheld sports games from Coleco and more fun with Merlin or Maniac. Learning could be somewhat fun with a 2XL or a Quiz Whiz, or a Speak and Spell or Little Professor. The Muppet Show was very popular on television back then. You could go bowling with my friend Snoopy or talk to Mickey Mouse on the phone. One of my favorite toys was the unfortunately named Pass the Nuts. Now I'm gonna show you the strangest thing in this catalog. These laugh fun heads spray a stream of water into your face and then laugh at you. Just like Basco probably laughed at you when you bought them. You could use the groundbreaking technology of telemail to place your order. Imagine telling people that your occupation was a telemail counselor. I hope you enjoyed seeing the department store catalogs today. If you did, don't forget to click the like button down below. I'll see you soon with more. Thanks, YouTube.